Camilla, you have the final say. Just once, can you guys just agree on something? Because I'm literally shaking, and oh, I agree with Rachel. Sure. I honestly thought the two of you were going to be in the final. You, you just kind of lit the fire inside and just took it to the next level. And that is the only reason why I am going to save you over Susie, and I'm so sorry. So, Chef and Enrique, you guys are safe. A couple of days and we're still feeling a little bit like this. So we have with us now the latest contestant to be eliminated from Dancing with the Stars New Zealand. It feels like we say it every week. <laughs> we do. <laughs> but we really, really, really can't believe that you are here, Susie Cato and Matt. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Every week we, the, we say this, but we're keeping the seat warm for a certain somebody, but we don't expect to see. But obviously this is still very emotional for you. I haven't seen that before. I haven't allowed myself to look at it. So oh, that was really it. weird. Oh, it's so sexy. Yeah, it's a I have, I have okay. tissues. I can't prepare it. The, the thing is, welcome to the show. It is lovely to see you, but we don't want to see you under these circumstances. Because to be honest, mm. I'm pretty sure all of New Zealand thought that you were going to take this show out. I oh, mean, I don't know about that, but... We no, they did. We were going to give it a jolly good nudge, weren't we? I think we did yeah. give it a jolly good nudge. <laughs> I think we did give it Absolutely. a very good nudge. How surprised were you to be standing there last night in that dance-off? Um, or the other night? Yeah. Well, look, we, oh, we can't take anything for granted, and so we danced our dance on the Sunday night and then practiced, practiced it again on the Monday because you just never know. And look, we were so lucky we did. Yeah. So we did okay on the, the final dance. Got to be prepared, eh? You never yeah. know what's going to happen in this competition. Well, yeah, obviously don't. Over, no. No. Except maybe <laughs> now we're starting to think somebody might take it out they can't even dance. Um, but <laughs> you you got the best judges score last week too. I mean, so it must have been a bit of a surprise to see yourself there. Um, well, we got the best for the Sunday night. For the night. Sunday night. The yeah. Sunday night, yeah. And then some really good dancers came out and we didn't do so well on the leaderboard. <laughs> that ruddy Chris Harris. Yes! <laughs> and Sam. Yeah. Yeah. And have you enjoyed it, Susie? I guess one thing I've noticed is that you've been quite surprised at the outpouring of love and support for you. Did you not realise just how much of a national treasure, treasure you are in this country? Well, look, it's been a wee while since I've actually been on national television, so and that was a lovely surprise. And it has been so supportive. The messages coming in, not just now that we're no longer in it, but um, in the lead-up to it, all through Dancing with the Stars, such positive support mm. of us and the Mental Health Foundation. It's been wonderful. How has your family found it? Because obviously when you take this on board, uh, you don't see your family mm. for a lot of the time, do you? How have they found it? Oh, they've been fantastic. And your kids too, because they're at an age yeah. where, you know, mum may not necessarily be the coolest. Ah, uh, yeah, no, mum is pretty cool, which is yeah. great. Oh. Woo! Um, <laughs> and they have been so supportive. And my daughter's been there nearly every night. My son's been glued to the television because he wasn't quite the right age to be able to be in the audience. But um, we've gone through this journey together and it's been a learning curve for me, but it's been a huge learning curve for them as well. Well, and for me to show resilience with all the bruises and the aches yeah, and the pains. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I was ready and fitter, I would have been fine. But um, the, to even being eliminated so that they can see the tears and to know that everything's going to be okay. That was just one day. Life goes and, on. Yeah, yeah, and we were gutted. Yep. But yeah, life goes on. Yeah, we're uh, going to dance uh, again. You will dance again, I oh, hope. Oh, yeah. Will. Yes. We're going to dance, dance again, again. aren't we? Yeah. 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 And Matt, Pam Corkery's dance partner last season. Yes. Yes, and Susie this season. What have you thought of Susie and her performances? Um, I've been so proud of this lady. She has risen to every challenge that I've thrown at her. Um, I've not given her the easiest of routines, mm -hmm. um, but it's competition and everyone's been bringing their A-game into this competition. It's The standard of dancing was so high and um, we had to we had to bring it to yeah. be competitive and hold your head up high girl because yeah, yeah, you yeah. did so <laughs> well. And take my booty. Yeah, really. The eldest female contestant. There you go. Yeah, you look yeah. absolutely incredible. Yeah, you? right. I'm so impressed. Uh, you obviously got into first name terms with your osteo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, oh, magic hands. But also we had um, Matthew as well. Matthew he, was yeah. great too. He, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so important that if you have an injury, you do something about it for your own physical health, but your mental health as well. Have you noticed a change with your body and your Oh yes, and your yes. Oh, yeah. Sitting up straighter, yeah. but I've lost so much weight, I must admit. So um, that's, a lot of it's exercise, but also eating more healthily. I haven't craved the junk food the way I have, apart from hot chips. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Get toasted some hot chips, somebody. Yeah. And you know, you might be able to answer this more than Susie, I guess, because you've done the show a couple of times. How on earth is David Seymour still there? I just don't get it. <laughs> what, what's your take on it? Uh, it's just as much about the voting as it is about the dancing. I mean, it, it's split 50-50, judges, scores and voting. If you put all your eggs into the dancing basket and none into the voting basket, you're still left with 50%. The man's a campaigner from way back. Uh, he's and he's appealing to a big crowd. Plus, he's putting a lot of time and effort into the dancing. I mean, we've, we've seen him in mm. the studio. Yeah. Say what you will about his dancing, the man is working hard. And, and he and represents a part of the nation that dances like that. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and, hey, and the kids really like him. The kids are really yeah. into David oh, Seymour. They do. They love They'd, Yeah. But it was really nice. It must have been nice for you, Susie, to show a slightly Ooh, yes. different side of you. Because we see lovely Susie, mm. nice Susie, but now we've seen sexy Susie and mm. sultry Susie and sassy Susie. Well, it's all been there. It's just been hidden under cosmic gear. So. <laughs> <laughs> and do, do you think in hindsight that was, was not the right thing to do? What's that? Getting you know sort of sassy Susie and dominatrix oh, yeah. Susie. Well, I don't know about dominatrix. That was meant to be Queen Susie. Queen Susie, <laughs> Queen Susie yes. yeah. With a very high ponytail. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it was the right thing to do. Cool. Yeah. And I, with the support that I've had from Instagram and Facebook and the supermarket and everywhere we've been, <laughs> I've been representing mums throughout the nation and um, people who, even males, who have gone, wow, go for it, and supporting me and pushing my boundaries and giving things a go. And so. that's really important mm, to do. Yeah, and that's yeah. important for your mental mm. health as well. So tell yeah. us a little bit about your charity. Oh, the Mental Health Foundation. One in five of us will be affected by a mental illness in one way or another, whether that is personally or whether it's through our friends. Mm. Uh, so many of us are losing people to a mental health illness. So the Mental Health Foundation are doing so much work and what I love at the moment, they're doing a lot of preventative work with kids so that they've got the strategies and the resilience and the coping skills. And that's really where I would like to see a lot more effort put for kids so that they can be strong and productive adults. Sweet mm -hmm. Susie, looking after everybody, which yeah. I love. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is, has this changed you, the show? Um, look, it's made me stronger. Right. It certainly has. I was just thinking about it. It's made me stronger. It's made me more creative. It's made me more determined to do. Yeah, made me more determined to carry on doing what I've done for so long, and that is work with children and families, and to um, use my profile for the betterment of as many people as I can. Excellent. Now we must ask you, because everyone else on the show, when they've been eliminated, has pretty much said Susie Cato. Uh, yeah, Who do you think is going to win Dancing with the Stars? Susie. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We lost that one, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, look, I have no idea. It's anyone's the, game. With the eliminations, <laughs> the way they are, and the challenges that are coming up, stay tuned. Do you want to throw a name out there? Um, Come on. Oh, look. If you took it down to dancers, we were talking about it with dance technique and things like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe Sam, maybe... Um, maybe maybe Jess and Johnny. John, yeah. Maybe okay, Johnny, yeah. Okay, you're just taking everyone now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so basically everyone. Thank hey, you, guys. Hey, and David. Yeah, you just never know. Look, <laughs> even Rog. Chris Harris. Chris Harris, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Susie, it's been a pleasure to see you. Yeah, gracious, beautiful, Matt. brilliant. Thank Loved it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And then there was six. Make sure you keep watching mm. Dancing with the Stars, Sundays at 7, Mondays at 7.30 on 3. And don't forget, you can catch any episodes that you've missed on 3Now.